Roxanne, a colleague of mine, recently emailed me a copy of a report that she is working on. She had just put the finishing touches on it and wanted me to look at it to make sure that it is ready to send to her boss. When I opened it in Word, I saw a lot of lines and other markup, as you can see. I don't think she wants to send the report looking like this. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Bob DeLobenfels, a writer on the Microsoft Office team, and I'm here to show you how to manage track changes in Word 2007 to avoid embarrassing situations like this. When I called Roxanne to ask her why she sent me a document with a lot of markup, she replied that the document looked fine to her on her computer. She said that Leslie, another team member, had made some revisions to the report. When she got the report back, it had comments and revision marks showing. Roxanne knows about the track changes feature, but she insists that she turned off track changes before she sent the report to me. She's surprised that I saw markup in the document when I opened it. I think I know what happened. I bet Roxanne chose view settings that hid the markup, but did not get rid of it. She turned off track changes, but turning it off does not remove markup. It just returns Word to a mode where you edit the document without keeping track of your changes. The changes that you had previously kept track of are still in the document until you expressly get rid of them. Here, I'll show you how this works. Let's say you send a document to someone asking them to review it for you, and they make some revisions using the track changes and maybe the comments feature as well. When you get the document back, it looks something like this. Everything the other person added is underlined, and everything they deleted has a line through it. Or, you may see that all the revisions are in balloons in the side margin. The balloons or lines make it easy to see exactly what changed, but it can also clutter the document, making it difficult to read. To get a cleaner view of the document, you can hide the markup using choices in the Show Markup command. You can also switch the display to Final. Doing these things hides the markup, but does not get rid of it. For example, you might clear comments under Show Markup if you want to look only at other kinds of revisions for now. The comments are hidden, but they are still in the document. Or, if you want to see what the document would look like if you accepted all the revisions, you could display it as final. But this is a display setting only. The markup is still in the document. Furthermore, turning off track changes prevents new revisions from being tracked, but it does not remove markup that is already in the document. So, how do you get rid of the markup? Think of track changes as a way of proposing revisions rather than actually making them. You can easily see the proposed revisions and accept or reject them. When you accept or reject a revision, Word makes the change permanent and removes the markup. You can move through the document one revision at a time, accepting or rejecting each, or you can accept or reject all the revisions at once. Some reviewers like to add comments in the document. Comments are a way of making suggestions without necessarily editing the text of the document. Similar to track changes, Comments can be deleted one at a time, or all at once. When you have accepted or rejected all of the track changes, and when you have deleted all of the comments, there is no markup in your document.
what if you don't want to step through the process of accepting revisions and deleting comments? Isn't there a simple way to get rid of the markup? As a matter of fact, there is. You can use the Document Inspector in Word 2007 to remove the markup in one step. Let's go back to that report with all the markup. When the Document Inspector removes markup, it automatically accepts all of the revisions and deletes all of the comments. In other words, if you're happy with your document when you display it as final, you can use the Document Inspector to make sure that all the markup in your document is gone. Click the Office button, point to Prepare, and choose Inspect Document. You can use the Document Inspector to check for other things that you may want to remove from your document before distributing it. Since we're working on revisions and comments for now, I'll clear these other boxes. I click Inspect. When the Document Inspector displays the inspection results, click Remove All. Close and you're done. After the document inspector runs, the revisions and comments really have been removed from the document. Remember, the Track Changes feature is great for making it easy to see exactly what was inserted, deleted, or moved. But when you're ready to share your document with a wider audience, you need to accept or reject all the revisions and delete all of the comments. A one-step way to accept all the changes and delete all the comments is to use the Document Inspector under the Big Office button. Now I can send this report off to my boss, confident that she'll see the final draft and only the final draft of my team's work. Thank you.